Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Admiral. Last year when you testified before the committee, you and I discussed PACOM's need for ISR. And I'm proud to represent Offutt Air Force Base and the 55th Wing, which provides support for that mission out of Kadena Air Base in Japan. Do you have enough ISR assets, including the RC-135s, to be able to meet the demands in your area of responsibility? I, I do not, Senator. Can you describe how you use um, the RC-135 in PACOM? Yeah, uh, yes, ma'am. We use the uh, RC-35, the river joint, for all, uh, not all, but, but for a, a large portion of our signals intelligence requirements uh, throughout the Western Pacific, whether it's, it's in, the, in the Northwestern Pacific uh, focused on uh, uh, North Korea, or whether it's in the South China Sea area uh, focused on, uh, on China. But the RC-135, uh, the Air Force's RC-135, uh, and the Navy's uh, EP-3 are, are critical uh, to uh, a signals intelligence collection uh, against our uh, potential adversaries and adversaries in the region. When you said you don't have enough. Is that because demand's increasing? Uh, I, I don't have enough because there isn't enough to go around. Uh, and when you, when you look at a fixed amount of, of ISR assets uh, and all of the combatant commanders uh, have uh, requirements, uh, and then that, those requirements have to be apportioned uh, by some, some entity, and that entity is the joint staff through the global force management process. Uh, you know, uh, I think all the commanding commanders would tell you that uh, none of us have all that we want. Do you see demand increasing? I, in I, do, I do see demand increasing, clearly. North Korea's pursued an aggressive schedule of nuclear testing, and my understanding is that the WC-135s operating in PACOM provide valuable intelligence on those activities. Is that correct? Uh, that is correct. And can you explain how that information helps inform your decision-making with regard to forces in the area of your well, responsibility? Well, the, the, the WC-135 uh, is a service-retained asset that I have to ask for. And, and when I ask for it, uh, I always get it, which is, which is a good thing. And WC-135 helps me understand uh, the nature of North Korea's uh, nuclear testing. You mentioned in your testimony the fact that we risk losing the dominance of the air domain that we've enjoyed for decades in the Pacific. And both China and Russia are investing heavily in the A2AD and new fifth generation fighters and are rapidly closing the gap. Do you believe that we still have that air superiority in the region? I, I do believe we have that air superiority. I think it's unquestioned now, but I, I can see a path where it might not be unless we continue to resource it. Under what scenarios do you believe that we risk losing that superiority and and really the freedom of access that we have. If, uh, if, if we uh, don't uh, overturn the Budget Control Act, if sequestration uh, is the law of the land, remains the law of the land, and, we're, and we fail to resource our, our requirements uh, in air superiority, then Chinese development will continue uh, apace, and, and there will be a line, there will be a timeline, a time of, of which those lines cross, and, and we'll lose our air superiority. Today, uh, I believe we have it. I think the Congress's actions, uh, as evidenced by the uh, bipartisan agreement last month, uh, I think that sends a strong signal and will help us uh, maintain that advantage, at least through 19, FY19. When you talk about the advances that uh, the Chinese are having, uh, are you speaking of the technologies? Uh, I'm, I'm speaking increasing? both both the technologies in terms of Chinese development of fifth generation fighters uh, and the weight of, of their numbers, uh, numbers alone. You know, I've, I've often said uh, in, in, uh, that uh, uh, quantity has a quality all its own. And, and so while, while the U.S. Uh, equipment and personnel in terms of quality far exceeds that of, of any of our competitors or potential competitors, uh, quantity has a quality all its own. Can you speak to any certain technologies that you believe might seriously threaten us? Uh, I believe China's development uh, and research into hypersonic glide uh, weapons uh, is one of those technologies uh, that uh, uh, they're working on that could threaten uh, us uh, significantly. Okay. Thank you.